All right, everyone. Luke with Owls here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to start to integrate all your questions that you have uh, in the comments, and I'm just going to answer them here because it's honestly a lot going through these and I'm, I'm delighted it's gotten to be the point where it's a lot because that means we're being successful. And um, so if you ever have a comment, you want it to be answered and if we missed your, we're gonna do it in a, in, in, in a week by week basis. So I look back to everything in the last week, anyone who dropped any comments, questions, uh, more like questions and stuff, there's some statements that people made, I'll, I will go over it, but um, Overall, every week, please leave your questions, comments below, and then we're gonna do a questions and answers video, and I will go through as many of them as possible. So let's take it from the top here. Um, Steven Grafsky was asking uh, in one of our videos about, uh, I think we are talking about the Girl Scout cookies, and uh, he was asking, do you all plan on revealing the premium flower behind the paper? We completely missed what you're asking for there, Stephen. So if you, I went back to the video and and like and it, it does, it gets tough because it's like, okay, which part of the video? Now we're like trying to cut and look through the whole video and uh, it's a lot. So if you can maybe make clearer for us what it is that you're asking and uh, we'll certainly get back to you on that. Okay, then next we have here the El Chulo 13 AGT. And I'm sure if any of you have been seeing myself and El Chulo 13 AGT have been going back and forth about all of the testing and uh, he's definitely been uh, pushing the envelope in terms of what is needed for end users. I'm actually gonna give him a whole separate video <laughs> for uh, our back and forth, but he did have a question, uh, cause I don't wanna go into, he was a few questions that he asked, so I'll do a separate video for that, but um, the main thing was uh, that I brought up was, you know, what's the deal with the website and what's the deal with all the payment options and stuff like that. So, um, look, I'm, I'm, I'd say the website has probably been one of my biggest frustrations and it's just incredibly difficult to get a fully functioning website that is streamlined with payment processing that doesn't get taken away. So we had Square Payment Processing before that got the boot and with no explanation or anything, just like we're not working with you anymore. And so since then we have been jumping through hoops and just trying to give you the, um, trying to give you the, to, to still be able to purchase our products. And the only way we can do that is through accepting Zelle, Venmo, Cash App, um, you know, I think I said Venmo, but, uh, that's the only way we can offer the products at this moment in time if you're a retail end user. And, um, you know, we have to, when we're applying for different payment processing, they'll say to us like, hey, don't include batteries. Okay, we need to take batteries off. Actually, different payment processor, take off vapes, you can't do vapes. And then, hey, we're all good to go. And actually now it's, it's no longer edible. So can you take off all the edibles? So um, basically it is something that is constantly changing and until we get payment processing, that is just the best that we can do. Um, but it's really straightforward. I mean, you can just text the number in order and it gets shipped. So um, yeah, sorry about that, but uh, we're definitely working on it. Uh, Shante, Hannah, how do I find out about the giveaway? Shante, you haven't been watching the videos all the way to the end. And if there's others, if there's others of you who are also wondering about it too, uh, we uh, at the end of our videos we do a giveaway and then you need to reach out to us on Instagram um, to to claim your prize so please make sure to watch all the videos to the end and uh, and then if your name's called out shoot us a DM um, we'll send you some free products so that's how that's how we do that and um, what else do we have here Jimmy G so we were going back and forth about, uh, this is in the vape mail band video, and uh, I gave a shout out to Indie CBD Plus. I was telling them to buy anything from uh, Indie CBD Plus, that's Chris, he's in uh, Indiana. He stocks the Owls products. And basically Jimmy made the comment, he said, I'm not paying $55 for a vape cartridge. Same ones in Terra Hote are $28.99. So, 
let's just clear this up quickly, right? No, they are not the same cartridge. You buying a cartridge that has oil in it, right? Is 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 uh if you if you had a bunch of cartridges and they were just empty with no brand and they just had oil in them, sure you could make that comparison, but we're dealing with a whole other like like the fact that you it's like you don't it seems you just don't get the point or you, you've missed the point completely is that we are very much different than what everyone else is offering um, when you say hey I can get a $28 $28.99 cartridge and it's the same one it's absolutely not because I like for instance I don't know of many cartridges that have a quartz coil uh, custom tips I don't even see the etching. I haven't I'm yet to see another cartridge which has the etching and the strain on it. And so, you know, it's a whole different ball game. So let's compare like to likes. Let's not be saying like, hey, you know what? I see you with your car over there and I see you, you got that Mercedes AMG. And I mean, I can buy a Ford. It's got four wheels too, and they're available down the road. And I can get it for like a half the price. So you trying to sell me like a Mercedes AMG, I think you're crazy because I can just buy a Ford. So, you know, let's let's compare like to likes and and and, uh, and be clear because you certainly won't get any owls for uh, for $28.99. So uh, next we got Matt81. Uh, he was talking, uh, we we're talking about again the vape mail ban and uh, you know, you if you had an LLC, you could possibly sign up to the wholesale account. And he said, uh, LLCs aren't aren't much to do. Um, is there a minimum um, of products that's needed to complete the order? And yes, we asked that everyone who's a wholesaler who has an LLC uh, does spend a minimum of five hundred dollars. So that's one of our requirements. Um, next, we have flow state of mind. Delta Eight is a synthetic isomerization. Uh, some unknown compounds are formed during that process. So, okay, so first things first, um, Delta 8 is naturally occurring in the plant and, it's, and if it's naturally occurring, then it can't be designated as synthetic. It's the same thing as saying, like for instance, that you, would you consider uh, THC to be synthetic? Because it actually goes through a chemical process of decarbing from THCA to THC and uh, of course I don't think any of us would, would, would call that a chemical reaction. So I think this is definitely one of the uh, a, a big topics that's come up. Is it synthetic? Is it not? Um, from all the research that we've done and there was even an article put out recently from the government saying that Delta 8 is found in hemp. Uh, therefore, it doesn't matter about how minuscule it is. It's found naturally in hemp. Uh, then it couldn't be synthetic. Uh, some unknown compounds are formed during this process. Yes, yes, that is the truth. Um, there is some unknown compounds that are formed during this process. Now, what does unknown compounds mean? Uh, that means that we cannot test for them uh, on, uh, we cannot test them, yes, in, in a lab. So could they be good for you? Could they be bad for you? I mean, we don't really know. And so having a, a product that's as pure as possible is of course important. Um, that being said though, if I, if I felt that there was some, uh, you know, terrible unknown products and this is a danger, I would not be selling, I wouldn't be using it myself. And, um, and the other thing is, is there's a lot of unknown compounds in, uh, in marijuana and THC, right? So if you think about it, right, uh, how often is it when you buy a product that is like 100% of the product, zero. Like unless you wanna buy like 99.99% diamonds or something like that, you're always gonna get a product with unknowns. So think about this, you have a BHO shatter and it's 65%. What's the other 35? Well, known compounds. And the same thing, you got a distillate, it's 85%. What's the other 15%? unknown compounds. So we are at the at the start of this industry and there's absolutely a lot of unknowns. And I think that all we can do is provide as much education as possible for you to make the decision of what is best for you. We give the test results and you have to examine them for yourself and make the decision if this product is safe for you. A product that's safe for me may not be a product that's safe for you, may not be a product for somebody else who may have other ailments or maybe it could be the opposite. 
product that doesn't work for me is perfect for someone with ailments. So either way, um, yeah, we, we absolutely don't consider it a synthetic process. And um, thank you for your comments. Uh, Luke Walker, good old Luke. Steve, uh, so come back to, we're coming up with new ideas for the, for the owls videos. And, uh, and he says, uh, and I'm paraphrasing this right now. Luke and Steve should consume different products, MG for MG, and then debate about them. Um, I'm possibly open to that. I mean, it's gonna take a day, right? Like that would be a day if we were like, okay, you eat 100 milligrams, I'll eat 100 milligrams, and you eat another 100, and I'll eat another 100. It would probably take a long day. So, I mean, maybe if people wanna see that, but I, I, I don't really have the time to turn off for like that amount of time. Um, so I'll see about it, but right now I don't think it's something that I can take on. Um, and then, uh, again, we have our good friend, uh, El Chulo 13 AGT. He was asking, had we found any loopholes for shipping? Um, no, we're going to be following the law with that. Um, we, I mean, we can sell business to business. So our plan is to really have enough businesses in every locality so that you wouldn't even have to really want shipping, right? You just go to a store and pick it up. So that's that's where we're at right now. And then uh, finally, we've got a Moomin Rider. Love that username, by the way. One Punch Man, all the way home, I love it. Um, uh, do you bleach your Delta 8? So, um, We've already done a video on, on Delta 8 and bleach and all of this type of stuff. And uh, and to answer your question, I mean, do we, uh, it's sort of a loaded question, right? Do we bleach our Delta 8? Do we put bleach in our products? No. Uh, does anybody put bleach in their products? No, uh, that doesn't happen. Um, is there, is there uh, for instance, uh, do you add carbon? to your products so that you can turn it into water clear? Yes, yes we do. And uh, we also have products that aren't water clear either. Um, carbon is a, is, a, is a natural absorbent, right? Sometimes when people are sick, um, they will eat, they will eat you know, carbon capsules or, or something like that to, uh, to help with some of the digestive problems. And carbon has been used for uh, a very long time for cleaning. I mean, there was a point in my life I even used some carbon for brushing my teeth. So, um, you know, we don't see any issues or problems with that. And the whole is there bleach in the products, I think was just an excellent marketing uh, scheme to get uh, traffic to other people's websites. You know, hats off to those people. But uh, no, we do not have bleach in our products, nor will we ever put bleach in our products. And if there was bleach in products, I would be imagining that uh, people would be dropping like flies. So that's predominantly all the comments. Uh, any of them that I missed, I apologize. Uh, we are doing our best to catch them all. And um, that's basically it in a nutshell, everybody. And uh, we'll leave it till next week for the next Q&A. Thank you very much for participating.